Hey friends, it's Jesse, and in this free copywriting tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write captivating headlines that convert. I'm about to walk you through eight fill-in-the-blank templates, formulas and examples that you can steal to write successful headlines in a flash. And at the end of this video, we'll do a fun quiz to see if you can guess which headline increased conversions by 326%. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. I want to share with you five headline writing tips and best practices as well as some examples. So these are things that you want to follow when you're writing headlines for your business or for your clients' businesses. Let's have a look at this one here. Now at the bottom here, I've got why this is important. And the lesson here is that you want to grab your target audience's attention. Now that might seem obvious, but some people think that when they write a headline, they're trying to get the world's attention everyone's attention. Well, that's just not true. The only people whose attention we're interested in getting are your target audiences. And that makes your job so much easier, right? So one less trip to the mall. Who is that going to appeal to? Well, if you look at this image, and I'll get myself out of the way here, it's men, right? And I think a lot of men would agree, not everyone, a lot of men don't want to go shopping at the mall, it's something we loathe to do. And this is speaking directly to that audience. One less trip to the mall. And they're also using imagery here that looks like men's clothing, right? So what's great about this headline is it speaks specifically to the target audience's uh, interests, not to everyone's, right? The next one here is a headline I wrote many years ago for an eczema cream. And what's great about this headline is it highlights a problem, a benefit, and a result. So if we read it, 100 natural home 100% natural home re remedy soothes and treats dry skin, itchy, dry, itchy, and painful eczema, skin rashes, quickly, safely, and without drugs. So what this headline is doing is it mentions the problem or it highlights a problem, which is dry, itchy, and painful eczema, skin rashes, right? So that's the problem that it's treating. And then we know the benefit or the result is that it soothes them quickly, safely, and without drugs. So there's a lot happening in this headline. I also love the subheadline, which is try it risk-free for 30 days. This headline worked well at selling, you know, hundreds of thousands of eczema creams to the target audience. So you can do something similar, make sure I highlight the problem, benefit, or the result. This headline is all about being clear and concise, not cute or clever. Some copywriters, you know, they want to impress uh, their clients by writing something that's clever, that might win an award, that no one's ever thought of before. And as a result, the messaging and the headline is so vague, so unclear, no one knows what it means. It's much better to be clear and concise, concise meaning brief, than trying to be cute or clever, right? And this one's great because it says exactly what it's about, the best running shoes of 2022. And that's what the audience is interested in. They're shopping. This is an e-commerce website. They're looking for running shoes and they're offering the best. And that's all they need to do is say, we've got the best running shoes. This one is, uh, the lesson here is to include numbers where possible. There's so many reasons why numbers are effective, but they, humans love seeing numbers because they refer to, this is going to be uh, succinct information, right? We've got just 10 life hacks that you need to know. We're all busy. We don't have time to read up, you know, countless life hacks. So saying 10 makes the headline so much more appealing. It also makes it more credible, more believable when you use numbers. So 10 life hacks that you need to know, a simple headline that uses those numbers effectively. Now, here's another example of a headline that we see here. Safe, reliable, dependable. Uh, hire us when you need a hand. Any guesses for what this headline is about? I have no idea. And that's because it makes a mistake of being vague and using buzzwords and having absolutely no clarity of message. So no one knows what this website is about. Therefore, we're unlikely to hire this company for whatever it is they do. I have no idea. So avoid being vague, avoid using buzzwords. It, the client might say that you should use. You need to add context if you're going to use buzzwords so people know what you're talking about. Okay, so that's some of the best practice tips for to keep in mind when you're writing headlines. Now let's look at some of the 
headline writing templates, formulas, and examples. Now, the first one here is a question headline. And the template that we're using here is to ask a provocative question. It's a provocative question that's going to interest or make our target audience curious. So here's an example. Can you really lose weight without dieting or exercise? Now, if you're someone that's looking to lose weight, you might believe that you need to diet and exercise. This headline is going to intrigue that kind of person. And you can see it's provocative because everyone says you need to diet and you know go to the gym to lose weight. They're saying, you know, can you really? So they're not saying you can lose weight without dieting and exercise. They're not saying that. It's not a statement. It's a question. And we want to know the answer. So it's going to intrigue us to read more. So question headlines, very powerful. How to headlines, some of my favorite type of headlines. This one is how to achieve outcome without common obstacle. Now, by obstacle, I mean something that the target audience believes to be true. They might not be doing the thing they want to do because they feel like they have this obstacle in the way, or it could be a you know a common challenge or problem that they've experienced in the past. Here's an example. How to buy a house without a bank loan or a deposit. Again, most people would believe that in order to buy a house, you need a bank loan or a deposit, and that might be stopping them from buying that house. This headline is saying you can get the thing you want without these perceived challenges or obstacles that you may have thought. Of. Uh, headline template number three is numbered headlines. I love numbered headlines. I've talked about the importance of using numbers already. And this template simply reads number, simple, quick, or easy, uh, and then the ways or steps to achieve desired outcome. All right, so there's a lot happening here. Now, when it says simple, easy, or quick, they're adjectives that you could choose. You wouldn't use all three. And the same with ways or steps or methods. You would choose one. You wouldn't use all of them. And then achieve desired outcome that your audience is interested in. Let's look at a simple example here that I think is quite relevant to everyone watching this video, which is nine quick ways to get your first copywriting client. That's going to appeal to beginner copywriters. Number four is mistakes headline writing template. The number adjective mistakes target audience make with subject and how to avoid them, right? So again, a lot going on in this example, in this uh, template, but it can be really powerful. Let's look at a fun example of how we could use this headline template to write a headline for the men's dating month. The 10 most dangerous mistakes single men over 40 make with women and how to avoid them, right? So an interesting headline here. Notice the use of the word dangerous. That's going to create intrigue by adding that emotion to the headline. And mistakes is obviously something we all want to avoid. And then it's very specific about who it's talking to. And that's single men over 40. A great headline example uh, using that mistakes template. Number five is say what it is and who it's for. This one is particularly useful if you're writing for a homepage. So if you're writing a headline for a website's homepage, this one is really useful. It's got all the ultimate clarity and it's got the target audience in there as well. So say what it is and who it's for looks like this when we use it. Email marketing software for designers and their clients. So we know exactly what it is that this website's about and then who it's for. It's for designers and their clients. So total clarity there, ultimate clarity, that's going to appeal to that target audience. We know exactly what it is that they're offering. Number six is to say what it is and what it can do for you, right? Another one that you could potentially use on a landing page or on a website homepage if you're writing their headline. Professional copywriting that turns your website visitors into customers and clients. Now, why do I like this example? Because it's actually the headline I wrote for my own copywriting agency that worked really, really well. And it works well because again, it says what it is, professional copywriting, and then it says what it can do for you. What are the outcome, the results, or the benefits that we can expect? And that is that we can turn, that this service, professional copywriting, can turn your visitors into customers and clients, which is something I know that my ideal clients want. Number seven, headline writing template is address the target audience. I mean, it's really important. Again, we're trying to get their attention, not the whole world's attention. We do this with company or business name. Is the claim to fame for target audience. Claim to fame meaning what is the one thing that makes them stand out or unique or different in the marketplace. So 
Be Invested is the number one preferred buyer's agent for busy first-time buyers. Or I might say first-time property investors or first-time home buyers to add that clarity to the headline. Um, and that's something you can do if your client or your business, you know, is number one in any particular category that makes sense to your audience. Number eight, the final headline writing template on how to write headlines is we analyzed number of the thing you analyzed and here's what actually worked. Now, this one is a great headline for blog posts, uh, websites, and also for articles. I've seen it really work well in YouTube videos. In fact, I plan on using this one myself, um, and here's what that would look like. We analyzed 1 billion email subject lines, and here's what actually works. Great, huh? And the reason why this is great is because it shows to the reader that you put in a huge amount of effort in this particular field to then find out what works for their benefit, right? So I've spent, I've analyzed one million, one billion email subject lines, which would obviously take a lot of time and effort and energy so that I can show you what actually works. And that's going to appeal to whatever audience, you know, is interested in email marketing or writing subject lines or things of that nature. Okay. So that is the, let's move on to the test, which I promised at the top of this video, which headline increased conversions by 326%. Now this is source. This case study I got from radicalmarketing.com, which you can check out as well. I'm going to show you two different headlines and you're going to tell me which one you believe worked best. And let me know in the comments below if you got it right and why you chose the one you chose. I'd love to hear from you. So let's look at the first headline and version A reads, discover the exact strategy you are using to get exceptional returns in the little known property boom happening right now. And the sub headline reads, that even most property gurus have no have zero clue about. So do you believe that headline, version A, increased by over 300%, the results, the conversion rate? Or was it version B? Discover our sneaky but 100% legal strategy for using the bank's money to profit from the incoming property boom that other property gurus have no clue about. Was it A or was it B? I want you to decide now and then I'm going to reveal the answer to you. Was it A or B? Let's have a look at the answer. It was B, right? This was the one that worked well. Now, if you've been paying attention to this video, this copywriting tutorial, what are some of the things you've learned already that have been applied in this headline that make it work well? Well, I think it's the use of numbers. Discover our sneaky but 100% legal strategy. That creates intrigue. Like what is the sneaky but legal strategy? And then for using the bank's money, right? So if someone, again, in the property market feel like they haven't got a deposit or the money to invest themselves, well, they can use someone else's money. I think that's going to appeal to the audience as well. And then incoming property boom is the result or outcome. People want to profit from property. Now, full disclaimer, I do not endorse this website or this case study. Um, I just think it's a very interesting headline that we can all learn from. That is the quiz. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below by letting me know your quiz uh, results. Um, and also type any of the headlines that you came up with. I'd love to check them out in the comment sections below. I'd also appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next copywriting tutorial right here on YouTube.